You're telling me I have to hold my tongue till old lady Duda chooses to speak to me. Come on. For the sake of peace, The I... only peace I'll give that old witch is a piece of... Children present. She was rude. See, they were my witnesses. It's an autobiographical uh, coming of age at the end of an age film mm -hmm. set at the tail end of the 60s in Swaziland where mm -hmm. I grew up. Um, in the last gasp of a vampire with all these people in a panic that they were you know, past their historical sell-by date. And um, it pitches my dysfunctional family story against the last gasp and disintegration of the British Empire. And the expat community are putting on an amateur production of Camelot to try and impress Princess Margaret who's coming out for independence. You want to mount a medieval musical for a minor British royal? Aren't we supposed to be uh, celebrating African independence here? It's a symbolic gesture. What do you think, Dr. Zim? Oh, excellent idea. A perfect antidote for Princess Margaret before she endures a whole day of Swazi tribal dancing. <laughs> Who told you it was Princess Margaret? Oh, you did, Charles. Because I'm an actor, mm. um, unlike most directors who are not, I was very sympathetic to what actors needed on set. So, um, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, the combination of my being a writer, director, actor, um, has meant that the actors went in with enormous commitment to doing it, mm. and uh, you get a real ensemble kind of acting style sure. that, that has come out of the film as a result. And who might you be? Gwen Traherne. My, hus my ex-husband's the engineer. We have met. Four times. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, come on, girls. Relax. I'm an American. Have very hubble jubble for you. I think that if you write something that is so personal, you, you have a huge advantage, even though you don't know every camera angle or all the technical stuff about lenses and all that stuff, what you do have the advantage of is that you know who is telling this story and from what point of view and what you are trying to say with it. Wawa.